Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about equivalent expressions. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Equivalent expressions in math are mathematical expressions that represent the same value, but may look different. Just to give you a quick example of two expressions that could represent the same value, if I were to write 5 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 3, I know that these expressions are equivalent because 5 plus 2 is 7 and 4 plus 3 is also 7. Even though I have four different numbers, 5 plus 2 and 4 plus 3, I know that they're equivalent because if I were to simplify them, I would end up with equal results. In this case, 7 equals 7. In terms of mathematical expressions like this one, where we have 3 times the quantity 9 plus 5, in order to determine the expression that is equivalent to that, you have to use what's called the distributive property. The distributive property states that you take this number out in front, in this case 3, and you multiply it times the 9 and times the 5. So I'm going to take this 3 and I'm going to multiply it times the first number inside of the parentheses, in this case which is 9. Then I'm going to add that to 3 times the second number inside of the parentheses, which in this case is 5. So we're going to do times 5. And then we're going to simplify this. So 3 times 9 is 27, plus 3 times 5, which is 15. So now I know that 3 times the quantity 9 plus 5 is equal to 27 plus 15, because I distributed this 3 times 9, and then added it 3 times 5. Let's do a couple practice problems on our equivalent expressions worksheet. The first problem on our practice worksheet for showing you what our equivalent expressions gives us 2 times a quantity 4 plus 1. Now we know according to the distributive property, we have to take this term in front of the parentheses and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. So we know that we're going to take 2 and multiply it times the second term inside of the parentheses, which in this case is 4, and that's going to get added to 2 again times the second quantity in parentheses, which in this case is 1. Then we're going to simplify 2 times 4, and that's 8, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. So now I know 2 times a quantity 4 plus 1 is equivalent to 8 plus 2. So this is an example of an equivalent expression. Number three on showing you how to find equivalent expressions gives us 10 times the quantity 2 plus 8. I'm going to take this 10, which is outside of the parentheses, and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to say 10 times the first term inside of the parentheses, which is this 2, so 10 times 2, plus 10 times the second term inside of the parentheses, which in this case is 8. And then when I simplify this, 10 times 2, that's 20, plus 10 times 8, which is 80. So I know that 10 times 2 plus 8 is equivalent to 20 plus 80, because they represent the same value or the same amount. The last problem that we're going to complete on our equivalent expressions worksheet is number 7. This problem gives us 4 times the quantity x plus 1. I know that according to the distributive property, I have to take this 4 and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. So the first part is we're going to take 4 times our first term, which in this case is x. So 4 times x plus 4 times our second term, which in this case is 1. So 4 times x plus 4 times 1 now. And then we're going to simplify. 4 times x, well that's 4x, plus 4 times 1, which is 4. Now I know that 4 times the quantity x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 4. 
Hopefully this video helped you in understanding what are equivalent expressions. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.